Hey guys, this is the start of a short tutorial series to give you guys a quick introduction to C Sharp. This is supposed to complement any Unity modding tutorial series that I cover on my channel. And it's meant for anybody who doesn't have any experience with C Sharp, but wants to get started modding a game that requires C Sharp. Now, if you don't want to learn how to mod Unity games, but you still want to learn C Sharp, this tutorial series will help you out just as much. I plan on structuring each video in the series by showing you what the code looks like then explaining why it looks that way and why you might use it. And then lastly, we'll get some practice in. And that's going to benefit anybody whether or not you're modding Unity games. My goal for this series is to teach you guys C Sharp in such a way that you have an actual understanding of the concepts and the code so you can make your own choices and you can make your own programs without anybody's help. You'll become an actual C Sharp programmer. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna go to our favorite search engine and we're gonna type in .NET Framework and click on the first download or the first link and we want to get whatever is the latest and recommended in my case it is .NET 4.8 but when you watch this video something else might be out then click on download .NET framework 4.8 runtime for it to download and you're good i've already got it downloaded so i'm not going to install it but make sure you go through the installation completely next go back to your favorite search engine and type in visual studio and click on the first link and then make sure to download visual studio community edition and not Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to hover over this download Visual Studio button and click on Visual Studio Community 2019 and then go through the installation. We're getting Visual Studio Community because even though it's a bigger program and it's more uh, resource intensive on your computer, the mods we make for our Unity games are gonna require us to use Visual Studio Community and it just makes sense to get started with that now. At some point during the installation, you'll come to a page that looks like this. All we really need for this specific tutorial series is .NET Desktop Development. So make sure this is checked before you click continue. And it's optional, but since we're making mods for Unity games, if you want, you can also install game development with Unity. We're probably not gonna get to this too much, really in any of the tutorial series I'm doing. Maybe later down the line that'll change, but since we're making mods for Unity games, it just kind of makes sense. So I installed it, you can do it if you want, but yeah, at the very least, we need to have uh, .NET desktop development. So in your case, this is gonna say install. Mine says modify because I already have it installed. Um, and I just kind of want to show you guys what it's supposed to look like. But yeah, when you're ready, go ahead and click um, install and go through the whole thing. And then you are done. Now, if you've already got Visual Studio installed, but you don't have .NET Desktop Development installed, and you don't want to reinstall it because that would suck, just press the Start button and type in Visual Studio, and you want to open up Visual Studio Installer. Wait for it to load, and then you'll come to a tab like this. So now when you're on this page, click on the More button, and click on modify and you're taken to this page here. So just check .NET desktop development, click modify and you're good to go. In the next video, we're gonna start learning how to use C Sharp. I'll see you guys there.